Hello and welcome to episode 432, 432 of the Daily Sales Message Podcast, where every single day without fail for 432 days in a row, so over a year, almost a year and a hundred days, almost, almost, so nearly a year and a half then, coming up, I share a piece of simple and actionable advice. It's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff, and it all started on a pinky promise dare to somebody that I bet I could do it and not run about out, not run out of ideas. And here we are, because I'm stubborn like that. But it's good for you, because you've got lots of free, cool stuff and a podcast to help you drift off to sleep if you need it. In this episode, we're talking about setting an expectation. So if you do something once, that's all right. Twice, get used to it. Three times, yeah, quite comfortable with it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Becomes an expectation, doesn't it? If you do something enough, it becomes an expectation. And this is never more pre- prescient, is a nice word for you, than with discounting. And in the UK in particular, I'm not going to name any particular names, but there's certain sofa manufacturers and shops in the UK that are always in sale. You'd have to go out of your way to find a full price item in their shop and buy it. They've set a discount expectation. Nobody expects to pay full price for their products or there's no services for their products in their sofa shop. Nobody expects to pay full price because it's always the big sale offerings Monday. Obviously, they don't tell you which Monday, do they? But there's always a sale. There's always a bank holiday special, blah, 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 blah. They set an expectation. They could never sell something for quote unquote what it's worth. They always have to have the higher price and then the reduced price. Why this is relevant for you, dear listener, dear viewer, is because when you're talking to people, if you happen to discount something or allow you know oh, all right as a one-off we'll do this we'll do that and we'll chip this and we'll change that and blah blah etc it can become a habit and it can start to erode and it becomes an expectation and there's nothing worse than you've done a deal with somebody they've pushed you hard on the price so let's say you charge 10 pounds what you do they push you hard and they bought it for eight all right just for a one-off eight pounds i'll do it no problem at all they then refer somebody to you. That person's room being referred as eight pounds because they say, hey, what did you pay James to the eight? Brilliant. They come in at eight and they're trying to get you down from eight because eight's the anchor number now. That's the higher number. And you're thinking, hang on a minute. It should be 10. I did eight as a one-off. But you've created a discounting expectation. So be very aware of discounting. It's a dangerous game. It can be really useful for converting some buyers. It's not really good for attracting people, in my opinion. But whatever you do with it, it can create an expectation and it can damage and erode things over time. Right, that's it for this uh, seemingly telling off edition of the Daily Sales Message Podcast. Tomorrow, in episode 433, we're going to talk about something that happens in silence in the sales conversation, but something that you really need to consider and think about and shine a little light on when you're talking with your potential buyer. Thank you for listening or watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. I'll catch you tomorrow for another exciting edition of the Daily Sales Message.